Hey y'all, it's Charity, and I'm here with a quick little tutorial. First, you're going to open Photoshop, and with those same measurements that we just took for the child sippy cup, you're going to come in and create a square. Give it a second to load. Okay. New. Um, the sheet size that I'm working with right now is 11 by 17, so this works. Um, if you're using different paper sizes, you would change them here. And if you want to change the orientation, you can also change it here. Um, a lot of times it's not going to be in inches. You have to put it in yourself, but I've been doing this for so long. Not for so long, but, you know, it's just kind of automatically there. So if you open up Photoshop and you see something weird, Right here, you just click and drop down and pick what you need. You can also title it already, but um, I'm just going to put see, and boom. So we get here, let's get locate our toolbar. <clears throat> if you don't know how to find your toolbar, you can go to uh, window. Sorry and pick what you need to see. I typically always have history as well as my tools um, here. So let's get right to it, a rectangle. Like I was talking about, pixels is probably the default. So you just come up here and change it to inches so you won't have any problems. Um, I just leave this pretty much as it is. Um, there's nothing on here because if you do that, it will be curved so put zero there for a zero curve um i have written down the width is nine and the height is 5.25 so i'm gonna give my width to be um 0.2 just so that i can have a small little wraparound then you just click down boom your measurements are good your corners are not rounded in any way just click OK so this is in short and quickly the template for the child sippy cup now I have already let's see snatched the name and this is the name that I want to use it's gonna be a frozen sippy so I like, and it's for a little kid so I wouldn't mind it being right there in the middle I don't really have any images or anything saved. Oops. If you didn't know, that's how I um, don't need this either, huh? Um, let's open this back up. Mm, wintery. I'm just going to go frozen. So this is super cool, super cute, and pretty simple. So I'm going to go to Tools so that I can make sure I have a um, it's bigger. Images. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tools. What am I doing? I literally haven't. Um, so in size. You want to go with the large images. That'll be your high resolution images. So scroll. This really looks simple and easy enough to get the job done. But let's see if this. So I can see the girl's name going right here. So let's just save image. This doesn't have to be difficult. Save, get out of that, and I'm gonna come to place and ready to pop it in it's right there. See how big it pops up. Oh my goodness, not really that big. Let's check out what it actually is in inches. See if in percentages. Oh yeah, that's not big at all. I'm gonna go back in here. Well, let's see how this just looks. Beep. 
Yeah, it kind of looks grainy to me. Like, it will work, but it looks grainy. Let's go back to Google and find something better than that. It's when I pick the Hmm. Click on it. Okay, here. This is where you see the sizing of it all right here. So let's come here and see what the difference was. Actually, this is supposed to be pretty big. Confused. Confused. Maybe it didn't do. I mean, I didn't download it correctly. I don't know. The other one was a mess. Let's see because let's see file. Let's see what it is. Just say downloading. Okay, we're trying to find a key, so let's go back. It would be there by now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah, see, no, they tried to play me. That's not what I want. Let's go back to this little site. Just go directly, click the download. And as soon as it's done, you can get rid of, get rid of, um, get rid of the file. Did I do it? Okay, let's install it. Okay, download full resolution image. Close. These ads will try to eat you alive, okay? So, getting out of all of this madness. See, that's grainy. This next image should be perfectly fine. When you click large, you should get large images. So, that was. Uh, mix up on my bag. Let's see, boom! Look how big it comes in. That's another thing. If it comes in a good size, it should work perfectly. So I'm deleting that, I think. Unless that's the girl's name. So layer it this way. Also going to um, click on this. Transform. Scale. Let's lock this in for a second. This will probably be pretty simplistic. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the name. It's exactly what I thought it would do. Or what I wanted to do. Um, you could also, to just make sure everything is perfectly that, you can. Um, create a clipping mask so that kind of narrow narrowed it in um and then let's kind of make this name be visible also she likes elsa and anna but most people love this gal I'm okay with this, honestly. I'm okay with this. A typical um, drop shadow. Let's see. Okay, bevel is cute. Kind of, kind of brought it to um to have some type of texture, almost crystal light. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, so I'm cool with this. Let's click OK. And move it. Yeah. Let me see if we can get a cute little picture of Anna, maybe. Maybe. We're really not going to do too much. <laughs> and again, tools. This is large. I'm not mad at this. This is kind of looking out into the Charlie verse. Let's see if I can get it. Because I feel like this other oh, thumbnail, so it's probably going to try to play me. Uh, let me kind of browse through a little more. We already have her open over there. Let me go back. How much else do we have? Yeah, so we're going to need a little bit more torso. Kind of like this. You know what? I'm not going to stress it. Mm, let's see, do I want it to? Do I want to do I want to do I want Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So now I can really get out of all of this jazz. Close you. Bring you in. Mm-mm-mm. So before I even get it super small, I'm gonna go back to my toolbar so we can remove this background. Let's go select object. It usually does pretty good. Um, if it doesn't, I know how to edit it, but I have faith. Boom, that's her little silhouette. So we're gonna, um, where is the, blue, blue, blue. I'm gonna mask that mug like so. And let's change our that we're using. I'm gonna click her. Free transform. Boom, boom, boom. So let's kind of put her up to her little. Okay, so let's have her here. Okay. And to me, it's not the hugest deal, but we can't have her floating in the air, right? Let's move Charlie. I think this will be perfect. And remember that black line will show up because we did a clipping mask. So click on Charlie. Okay, so it's like they're looking at Charlie. Boom, perfection. Um, let's take it to the printer, file print. Settings. I always keep them in premium presentation, have my paper size. The biggest thing to make sure it's mirrored, and it is, so I'm going to print. I'm going to print, and um, I'll come back when it's time. So a quick little design. Hopefully it helps you guys in some way, shape, or form. Bye!